So I'm pretty sure everyone knows about Section 377 being decriminalized. Yeah. And um, I think most of the youth would have gone back home. We are very happy about this. And we talk to our parents and people from the like, you know, older generation. Right? So when we discuss something like this with our older generation, they said, we are not going to debate with you as such. We're not going to impose our perspectives on you. But this is not accepted in our religion. So just want to know your perspective on, you know, the LGBT community or homosexuality as such with religion. Let's uh, see, uh, probably till now, largely in the social space, in the media space, in the social media space, everybody is pitching either for or against. Can we for some time not pitch for or against and simply look at the issue as it is? Can we? Yes. Look at me, I'm not a prude, okay? <laughs> Let that be clear. <laughs> so, when we say sexuality, let's understand this. It is something nature has put in us. Because there is something called as perpetuation of the race or the species, otherwise it won't happen. Of course, we being human beings, having more brains than body, supposed to, uh, because of that we kind of eliminated the reproductive part and just using the pleasure part of it, all right? This is sexuality right now largely in the world. But essentially, this pleasure also is come into the sexuality process because otherwise, well, if there was no pleasure to it, maybe uh, we wouldn't be born, you and me. Our present parents would not have gone into it if there was no pleasure at all attached. <laughs> yes or no? So we are here because of that. So there is no denying it or putting it under the carpet, that's not the thing. But somebody has a certain kind of sexual preference, which has got nothing to do with the reproductive process as such. It is their personal preference because every individual has the right to do whatever the hell they want to do with their body because it's their body. But if it is something harmful, you're going to cut your nose off or you're going to cut something else off, then maybe we will try to prevent you. But you're not causing any harm to yourself in that way, then it's your business as long as you do something in your private. Right now, the Supreme Court decision is just that, that what a person does in their private space is nobody's business, government need not enter people's bedrooms, that is the law, <laughs> all right? Now, coming to this religious resistance, there's nothing religious about this. We don't have to discriminate against them, we don't have to persecute them, we don't have to put them in the prison, definitely it's not necessary. But at the same time, it doesn't need promotion either. So, you don't have to… when your parents say something, they may refer to their religion because they think it's an authority. You take away the authority, just listen to the words, if it makes sense, do it. If it doesn't make sense, tell them politely, that's not the way it is with me, all right?